hi guys welcome back to soft asia tech today in this tutorial i will show you how you can add click button to change image functionality into your web page using elementor pro keep in mind that this functionality only works in elementor pro i will not use any third party plugin for this but i will use some css and javascript codes don't worry about codes i will share all the codes in the description below you can find the link and from the blog post you can copy this link to use into your web page so for this, let's go to our Elementor editor. Now here, first of all, I will add a section. So I will click on this plus button and add a two column section. Now here I will give it minimum height and VH to 100. Now in the first column, I will click on this plus button and add an image. Now I will select image from my media library and select this image and click on insert. Now in the second column I will click on this plus button, add in heading, change the heading text. Now I will add a text editor under my heading text and above this I will add a divider with a subheading. So I will add a divider above here. Now I will give it the width up to 70 pixels and now I will add text. I will add text American Beast. Now I will go to style. For the gap I will make it 0. For the weight I will make it 2. And now I will go to text. I will add color to dark black. And in typography, I will add a lot of font family. In the size, I will add, add 18 pixels and weight to 500 pixels. Now it's done. Now I will click on this cube button and click on and I will add a new button. Now here I will design this button. I will go to icon library and select car icon. I will select this one and click on insert. Now I will go to icon spacing and give it zero. And now I will definitely change this. Clear this text. Now I will go to style. Here first of all I will change the text color to black. Background type. I will give it the red color. Now I will go to border type solid and I will make it dark black border radius to 50 pixels or I will give it percentage. So I will give it 50% and for the padding I will add 20 pixels. Now I will uncheck it and add 18 pixels to the top and 18 to the bottom. Now I will add three buttons here. So I, when you duplicate it, you can see it will appear one after another horizontally, vertically. But I want them to place horizontally. So I will delete the second one and edit the first one. I will go to advanced and positioning. Give it the width to inline auto. Now when you duplicate it, you will you can see it was appears one after another horizontally now i will add the middle one and add the margin to the left and right 10 pixels now i will style the second one i will change the background color to white now i will add the third one and i will give it the background color of yellow now i will add two more images so i will duplicate first one and now i will duplicate it again now i will add second image edit the second image choose image from media library i will select this white car and insert image now i will go to third image and 
चैन द इमेज विद दिस वन एंड क्लिक ऑन इन सार्ट इमेज नाउ यू कैन सी आई हैव एडिट दिस रेड कार वाइट एंड येलो कार Now what I will do? I will add CSS classes into these images. Now for the first, I will add img dash all. Now copy this CSS class and paste in all images. Go to second one. Go to advanced CSS classes and paste here. Now go to third one. Advanced CSS classes and paste here. Now I will add unique ID with these images. So I will go to first one. go to css id and add red dash car now i will go to second one and add white dash car and for the third one i will make it yellow dash car now i will show only a one image when i will click on the second one so the second image will appear so i will go to this section setting go to advanced in custom css i will add i will add dot img and then i will add my css class put brackets and add display none now you can see all the images was disappeared now i will press enter here i will put hash sign and add unique id of red car i will add red dash car now i will put brackets and i will display block now i will add javascript under this so when i click on these buttons these images will change accordingly so i will go to my menus and search for html widget now i will drag this html widget here now i will paste javascript code here you can find this code in the description below now i have added this code i will explain it little bit as you can see i have added this all image all hide but when i will click on relative it will show me so when i will add some attributes in this buttons it will show me the relative image now i will add some html attributes in these buttons so i will add it the first one in advanced i will go to attributes here i will add data dash show me and then i will put unique css id i will add red dash car now copy this code and go to second button go to advanced attributes and paste here now change the red to white and go to third one advanced now go to attributes and paste your css id here now paste your attribute here and now i will change red to yellow now when you click on these buttons you can see no changes appears because i am still in the elementor editor it will appear when you update the page and you are on the live site now update the page now your page was successfully updated to see how it works click on this i button to preview the changes now here you have your image and the buttons when you click on this white button you can see the image was changed and now i will click on this yellow button you can see the image was changed again click on red button and the red image was appear but you can see when i click on these buttons the next image will jump in now i will add some smooth transition to these images for this i will go back to editor edit the first image and i will go to motion effects now in trans animation i will add fade in you can add animation duration to slow and fast i will make it little bit slow animation delay 
I will leave it as default. Now I will open navigator, go to second image and here again in motion, I will add fade in and animation duration to slow. Now I will go to third image in the yellow car and I will add motion effects, fade in and make it slow. Now I will update the changes. Now go to your page and refresh it. Now when you click on this white button, you can see this image appears with a smooth transition. Click on this yellow button and the effects repeats itself. That's how you can add click button to change images functionality into your web page using Elementor. Hope you find something new in this tutorial. If so, please like this video and share with others. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and also press bell icon to get notification about future tutorials. Thanks for watching.